hey everyone and welcome back to my channel to your taste happy wednesday y'all okay so today i am going to make something different i know you're looking at the ingredients like what is this so i am going to make caramelized onion grilled cheese sandwich i'm telling y'all don't knock it until you try it it is the best grilled cheese recipe in my opinion this is how i like to make my grilled cheese it's so good so you, what you would need is some butter for your pan an onion sliced your favorite cheese i have kobe jack a good bread potato bread is really good for me so i i get potato bread and then also you need mayonnaise real mayonnaise not miracle root but Duke's mayonnaise, and what you're going to do is put a light layer of mayonnaise on the outside of your bread. Not the inside of the bread with the cheese, but on the outside of the bread. And it's going to give your grilled cheese a golden, gorgeous color, brown color. So, I am going to slice my onion, and then I'm going to show you how to make this delicious grilled cheese sandwich okay so I have my onions sliced up and this is how you want to do it okay and I have my skillet preheating and so I'm just going to add in my butter Let's see. you just want enough butter to coat your pan the bottom of the pan because this is where I'm going to caramelize my onions in so it's hot enough then you will add in your onion all right so we're just going to caramelize the onion you don't want to burn the onion you're just going to caramelize it may put just a little bit more Oreo in it. Hold for one moment. Okay, so I'm just going to add just a little bit more of my butter. Like I said, I, you do not want to burn. I'm going to say about a tablespoon of butter. You do not want to burn your onions. You don't want that taste in your grilled cheese. Oh, I done dropped lots the onions. I'm going to burn myself and my stove is clean. And y'all, I am um, actually not filming at my house. I am out of town um, because Saturday was my sister's birthday. Happy belated birthday, Nisha. And um, I'm not at Saturday. I'm sorry, Monday. Her birthday party was Saturday. And yesterday, Tuesday, was my mom and dad's. 47th anniversary so I am in Houston with my parents for those two occasions okay so I'm gonna let this sit and get caramelized and nice and golden and I will be back all right so I just want to come back and show you how it is almost getting to that point as you can see here, put over a bowl, how it's getting kind of golden brown. Some of it is. So it needs a little bit more. It's been cooking for about five, six minutes. Um, you can add a little bit of sugar to it to caramelize your onions. I don't do that though. Um, I'm very particular in having something that's supposed to be savory to be sweet. So I don't do that. So I'm gonna let this sit. And cook a little bit more. I started my fire off on medium high heat. I turned it down to like just two dashes below medium. Also, I wanted to show you this. Y'all, I just bought this Duke's Mayo um, today. Look how full it is. If I can open it. Look at that. I didn't take the whole thing off. You see how full this is? I have never bought a mayonnaise jar or bottle um, that was just full. And I got this from H-E-B. Shout out to H-E-B because that's my favorite. H-E-B, Trader Joe's, Central Market, or my, and Kroger are my four favorite stores. 
that's my top five or four because it's the only ones I like to shop at. All right, so I'm gonna let this keep going and get to the caramelization and I'll be back. All right, so the onions are, do are done. Look, this is how you want your onions to be. Look how good that is. I mean, I don't know why I said it. Look how good it looks, right? So what I'm going to do is give me a paper piece of paper towel. I'm going to put my onions on top of that because I do not want my grilled cheese. I do not want my grilled cheese to be soggy, right? Because you still want that crunchy, golden exterior. You know, you don't want it to be soggy. So I'm just going to put this on a paper towel like that. And if you're going to make multiple of these, depending on what size bread you have, because the potato bread is a little big, but it makes the best grilled cheese sandwich, in my opinion. So just get, you do not need to get potato bread. Get whatever bread you have on hand. Um, if it's wheat bread, if it's, uh, what's the other one? White bread, you get it. But just get a good one. Don't get the cheap bread, I'm going to tell y'all. Um, if you can't, you know. All right, so I got my onions. Now, let me show you what I mean to add in or to thinly put or slide on your mayonnaise. But before I do that, let me get these little pieces of onions out of this pan, and I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I take a little bit of onions out of my pan. I just put a little bit of butter in here. Let me show you what I mean about adding just a little bit of Duke Mayo. All right. And it's Dukes, y'all. I haven't tried this with the other, like Hillman's, I think it's called. Haven't tried it with this, so I'm not quite sure how that would turn out. But you just put it like on your bread like this. You don't want to slather it on. You don't want it to be too much. It's enough to make it that real pretty brown. That's it. Hope you can see that. You see that? Oh, I don't know if you can see. oh, yeah, you can see it. Just like that. Okay? So, I have... I'm going to turn my fire down. I'm going to burn my butter. I have two pieces of cheese. Okay? Then, I'm going to add in my onion. And I'm only holding it this way because I don't want to get no get the mayo on my hands. That's it. And also, I would say this is more like an adult grilled cheese sandwich, unless you have children who, um, I'm just gonna have to get some on my hand. And I put a little bit more in there. Unless you have children who likes onions. I know some children are really finicky. But I'm telling you, it, they probably like this though. Depending on your children. Put a little bit more. I'm only going to put a little bit more because I like onions. Yeah, when I came up with this, I was like, oh my God, how come I never tried this before? It was so good. It is so, so good. All right, so that's it. You could put a little bit more in there, a little bit less. It's up to you how you like it. So I got that done and I'm going to add in... One more piece of cheese, just to cover up, where you get it, the onions. Oh, come on. And I'm only doing this because, one, I have that big piece of bread. Then, see how that looks? Cover this up. I didn't get too bad on my hands. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add this to my... Hot. Let me wash my hands real quick. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of my Duke Mayo on this side. 
Just like that. And so I already squished it down. My fire's down low because it's getting a little hot there. That's it, y'all. You and you would not be able to taste the mayonnaise. All right, y'all. So again, I have my fire down a little bit. Let's see how it looks in the bottom. Let's get in there. Not quite bum is there, but the cheese is melting. Let me turn my fire up just a little bit. I had to add in a little bit of butter to it, to my pan. But yes, so y'all, this is going to be really, really good. Um, I think this is, this is a different recipe for y'all, or for anyone who wants to try it. This is my favorite way to make it. Let's turn it over for y'all can see what it looks like. Wow. Look at that. I kind of got messed up. You see how oh you see how brown that looks? Look at that. That looks good. I don't know some people probably say, oh well you can have that same color with just butter. Yeah, you can. I get I assume you can, but I always use Duke's mayos on mine with butter. And it works. It makes it look real pretty. And it also does not only does it give it that pretty golden brown, but it also leaves your bread um really crispy, crunchy when you bite into it. So I'm just kind of move it around to get into where the butter is. this you just want your you know cheese to be melted because the onions are already cooked and i know some people like sometimes y'all i actually like my grilled cheese sandwich a little darker than this but i know some people don't like that's almost there it's kind of swerving around here okay so i'm gonna let this finish getting that golden brown and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, look at this. Look at this, y'all. Um, look at that. This is done. Let me see if I can show you the inside of it without dropping my sandwich. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Right? That looks so good. Okay. So, let me grab a plate, and I'm just going to let it cool down just for a little bit so that you can see how it looks. Um, let's see. All right, let me give you a better view. Cause... You see that? Look how pretty that is. Okay, so let me take this to the countertop, and I'll be back. All right, y'all. So, look at this. And I know I showed it to you when I was at the stove, but look how golden brown that is. And I'm going to show you about burning myself. Look, it's kind of, kind of cut off a little bit. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look how good that looks. Look at that cheese pull. Look, you see? So, that is it for my recipe for the caramelized onion grilled cheese. Let me take a bite because it's, it's just too good to pass up. Mmm. 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 I actually took a bigger bite than I was supposed to. Yeah, it is good. Okay, man, that's real good. All right, y'all, so that's my recipe for caramelized grilled cheese sandwich. I would have to say maybe like the adult version. 
you know, just in case your, kids, your children do not like onions. But this is really good. Try this recipe. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Okay, so thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. Y'all, I, I am so blessed to how many comments I've been responding to. And everyone liking my video. If you have not checked out my gumbo video, check it out. It's a step-by-step -step how to make gumbo chicken, sh I'm sorry, sausage chicken and shrimp gumbo. It's an easy video to follow. I'm sorry, easy vi video to follow. And I have to say myself, it's the best gumbo. But anyway, so thank you all for stopping by my channel, watching my video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know if you try this. And do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload a video. All right, guys, that is it for today. You have a wonderful evening. Be safe and God bless. Bye.